am making a fashion video as a mom. I feel like I kind of lost me. I think we found the outfit. We see what we can pull together, hoping this looks cute too. Maybe if I dress like I have things to do in a social life, I'll do them. Because I know it's like that with makeup. This is cute. You can't tell me this isn't cute. I, I feel like this is a half slay. I feel like I I almost did it, but you're you're getting the vibe. The room was neat before filming this video. Yeah. Seriously guys, you gotta let me know if you like this video or not, because I will move the kitchen island again, but only if you really like it. The production is very important to me. I'm telling you, there was a lot of behind the scenes. I literally vacuumed for you guys. Well, I should have anyways. As a mom, I feel like I kind of lost me. And if you're in the same position, then I hope this gives you inspiration to just, you know, take some time to yourself, give yourself love. And I feel like how you express yourself outwardly can really help how you feel on the inside and just reflect some self-love. If you're not a mom, then this is just a regular fashion outfit video. Step one for this, for me was to make a Pinterest board. I've actually never been a Pinterest girl in my life. And so this is like probably like the fourth Pinterest board I've ever made. And this was my inspo. Making a Pinterest board can really help you just see similarities in things that you are pinning and liking and kind of give you an idea of what you could make in your closet in a different way, layer differently, or pieces that you can get to make pieces in your closet fresh and new and like more your style. Go through my Pinterest board. The thing I was seeing I really liked was button ups, turtlenecks, layering, and if I'm showing skin, I really like like the thigh or the leg, I'm into like tights. A lot of my board was really neutral and I like color, so I'm gonna kind of pull from what I like, but also incorporate kind of these new silhouettes and styles and more dressy up vibes because I've been so casual. Let's hop in to outfit number one. This is gonna be the inspiration. And let's see what we made. I think we found the outfit. I'm gonna make it all neutral. She had black in it, but I think I have pieces that would make this look even better. Let's see. is outfit number one inspired by the picture. I went with the, I think it's the same brown pants. They're from Princess Polly. And then this top I've had for years. I got it from Revolve. I've probably had it for like four years. A tan bag, cream, like platform shoes. I love that she, I think she did this with loafers. I don't have loafers, so really just make what you have in your closet work. I am definitely a sneaker girl. I would like to play around with different styles, but not baby steps. Baby steps. I think styling wise, this would be really cute with like a slick back bun or like a claw clip. Let me try a beanie. I feel like you could dress this down for like an everyday look with a cap. I kind of like how it looks with a cap. This is a cute, elevated, everyday style. I feel like the three words I want to describe my style are comfy, cute, and chic. So just like an elevated, comfy, cute look. Let me try a beanie. Let me see. Ooh, the beanie's pretty cute too. It makes it like very cozy, good for winter. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I feel like this is really cute and it's pretty much everything I had in my wardrobe. The only thing I recently got were these pants from Princess Polly. They're the Archer pant. I have them in black and I will say every color in the Archer pant is a different material and it fits slightly different. I feel like outfit one was a success. This is gonna be my next inspo. Let me see what we can pull together. 
hoping this looks cute too. Outfit two is coming together. I feel like I need a hat. A baseball cap that's black would make it very like street style. Like this could be meeting the girls for coffee or errands. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure where to wear these outfits yet. I just know I want to and I'll find I'll find the place. The shoes could definitely still be black, but is this not like a cute date outfit the tops are from amazon the tights are from three people the leg warmers are also amazon i got them in a three pack i actually have black ones too i really feel like i should do the black but i'm kind of lazy so just picture black <laughs> and then my shoes are r13 and my sunglasses and my bag are prada my babies i i feel like this is a half slay i feel like i I almost did it, but you're you're getting the vibes. Like I feel like maybe black tights on the bottom with more black. I don't know. Let me know if you like how I made it more white than black. But yeah, this is outfit number two. This is gonna be my inspo for outfit number three. Let's see what we can do. I know what you're thinking, Brittany. Technically, aren't those pajamas? Yes, but you can wear pajamas out. <laughs> I feel like this is chic, comfy, and cute. Probably not for everyone. I understand. Nothing like my inspo photo. I just didn't have the right silhouette. This set is a silk set from Amazon. This is Rag and Bone, and I promise I own other shoes. My next outfit will have other shoes, but this is this is an everyday sleigh. Like I could, I don't know if I'd wear this to preschool. I know every occasion I can think of like wearing something, I'm like, oh, maybe I could go pick up my meds and CVS in this, like run errands. I don't, <laughs> oh, maybe if I dress like I have things to do in a social life, I'll do them because I know it's like that with makeup. This is cute. You can't tell me this isn't cute. Maybe I should make a follow-up of more dressed up and this is just like elevated, comfy, everyday wear that is practical but like a step up of matching sweatpants as a matching set. Okay, this is gonna be my next inspo. I hope I can nail it. Let's see what I can put together. I picked this next outfit because I feel like everyone has a white t-shirt, jeans, and a sweater and this is just a cute way to wear it. Let's see if it works. It's outfit number four. I wanted to add some color, so I went with a light blue sweater instead of a cream. I also just don't, or a tan. I also just don't have a tan, but I feel like there's so many different ways to make this work. If you live in a colder climate, instead of sleeveless, you can do a long sleeve to keep you warm. And I feel like the other key element is not skinny jeans, something loose to go over like a comfy boot. And then she had an LV bag, so I use one too. I've had this forever. I feel like, is it, is it chuggy? That's what the kids are saying, right? Is it chuggy? Or is it cool again? <laughs> I say things until they're cool again. It always comes back. This, I'd probably add a hat. I just really like hats. This is definitely casual, but it's like a chic casual. I, I, I could go to preschool. Well, parent taught their program in this. <laughs> again, the things I have to do. But like, this is like an elevated, if you're a mom, you could rock this in a lot of different occasions. Like you could go to the park in this and still not feel too dressed up, but 
you're cute, you're put together, and you probably have this stuff in your closet, which I'm all about. I feel like this is a sleigh. You guys are probably gonna hate the beanie. Oh, I just really, I just really like beanies. A claw clip would also do. I definitely have some new ideas on what to do with my wardrobe. I hope that this inspired you. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up so I know to make more of them. My daughter is gonna be home in like 30 minutes. She's seen a movie with her grandma right now. That's how I'm filming this. And if you can't tell, I moved my kitchen island out of the way to film this and set up lights and destroyed my closet. But I, I think it was worth it. Let me know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I will see you guys next Monday. I love you and I wish you the best of 2023. Bye! Oh, the time's been bad. You put smiles on